In this video, we'll show how non-inReach users can send you a message to your inReach. There's really two ways. First way is part of your pre-planning where you need to send a message to the recipients that you want to hear back from. So here, we're just going to send a text and an email message to some of our contacts, and we're going to send them the message with instructions what to do. Basically, all they need to do is to keep these messages and reply to it accordingly. So for a text message, just need to keep the text and just simply reply to it phone number will keep for a certain amount of time so you know that it will get back to you. For email, you simply need to keep the email and just simply click on the link that's inside the email and from there tap on send reply. He already knows who you are in terms of email addresses and all you need to do is send a reply. Now the other way is to use your map share. So let's log into our inReach portal and we're going to click on the social tab and from here we can configure our map share if you haven't done so already you can specify the URL that's what you're going to share with people put on your website put on your Facebook but we're going to go to the options and tweak some things we may want to put in a password so that at least it is some restriction to it we also may want to filter past activities mm -hmm. and we also want to make sure that the option to actually send a message is enabled and once that is saved we can simply share the URL and when visitors go to the web page go to the map share they'll be able to not only see your activity based on what you've enabled but at least they have the message button that they can click on and from there an email or mobile phone number plus their message they can enter and they can send that to you and once you receive it in the field, you can process these messages just like you would any other. And that is how non-inReach users can send you a message to your inReach device.